Hi, I'm Billy Glazer, and I'm a cellist with Music Nova. And today, we're talking about the D major scale. First, we're going to start with the first octave. I would also recommend, if you have some issues with the extensions, maybe starting with the second octave, but today we're going to start with the first. So, that starts on the C string, and is the first note on the C string. So it's one, two, but it's not a normal two, it's an extended two. What does extending mean? That means we are putting the two where the three is and we are opening up our hand. Therefore, that means our three will be where the four is, and the four will be on F sharp. And why do we have F sharp in this key? Well, there's two sharps, F sharp and D sharp. So also, on the G string, it's going to be the same pattern. But when we get the second octave, things are a little bit easier. We can close our hand down. It's back to one, three, four. Now let's go through it slowly. One, extend it to So, we're starting on the first note, which is D. We count the three, which is F sharp. So we have to start right off the bat with the extension. So we still keep the extension because we want to be prepared for the F sharp still when we go to the A. So just remember when you're looking at your scale packet that the extensions need to stay in some areas. And remember, these are just optional. Now, we go to the two octave arpeggio for D major. We count the third for the F sharp. And what's three notes above the F sharp? The A. So we keep the extension on these strings, and then we lose it when we get to the D and A. And why do we keep the extension? Because we would rather shift early than later. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.